Hey, welcome. This is Don Victor. Welcome to episode 34 of the Core 80 Show. We'll pop out 100 of these by Christmas. And uh, today and for the next couple days, we're going to uh, be discussing Degas. And so um, I've got a cool little painting of these ballerinas for you. I want to show you uh, how he looked into what we call a glimpse and, um, and how he designed that. And so this is a little treat. And the next couple of videos are going to be very similar to this. We're going to be able to see uh, in Degas' work the dancing, the dancers. Uh, not so much the dancers, but the dancing. And that's the glimpse. So let's get into it. And uh, let me bring up the image. So here we are. We are looking at these beautiful ballerinas by Degas. So first thing we want to look at is when we're looking at this, obviously there's a strong, strong, strong diagonal. I forgot to bring my little microphone in. And, uh, and so there's a strong diagonal that comes through here. It's the first thing you see, boom, and then you also see two strong verticals. But let's take a look at what's happening with the, the, the diagonals. Again, Core 80, Episode 34. Actually, first, before we get into the diagonals, let's start here. When we're looking at the ballerinas, I want you to notice that the first ballerina, we're taking a look at her side and her front, okay? And we can see some of her back. And on the second one, we're looking straight at her back and we see a little bit of her side. And if you look at the value shifts in the dress, in the tutus, you can begin to see there's a lot of volume to them. So let's go back to the original. Um, so again, we're looking at her side and her front, okay? And we're looking at her back and part of the side. And, and this is really, really important to, to understand that like, that's where we're starting. Because when we get into, into the next part of the design here, we realize that this foot is bringing us in, the pole is bringing us across, and this little bucket thing, Majiggy, is shooting our eye up here. And now he has to have it, he has to have that there because if not, our eye would just shoot off the bottom of the page. So by having this little vertical here and then this diagonal coming to this point where this ankle is, um, that's really where he wants us to start. And so he brings these three important diagonals together into one spot, and that's where our eye begins to experience the painting at a, at a deeper level. So what happens is our eye goes through the pole, and it establishes two dominant verticals, two poles. It's almost like a football pose almost, right? So this is what we're seeing. Now, this is what we're consciously seeing, but I want to show you what Degas is wanting us to experience. See, when Degas was sitting there painting these uh, or drawing these uh, ballerinas, you know, for many years I was like, man, why would he be doing that? Was he some kind of like a perv or something? Like just hanging around all these, you know, young girls sketching them? But I knew he wasn't. But I didn't know why he was doing it. And, uh, and then when I started taking dance lessons and put my daughter in dance lessons, I started noticing, like, oh, my gosh, the, the, the sensitivity, the movement, the grace. And I remember watching a, a, a documentary with Arnold Schwarzenegger called Pumping Iron. And in that documentary, Arnold said that he took ballet classes and the reason why, and you can actually go on YouTube and watch it, and they'll show them doing the ballet, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, all big and huge, you know, doing ballet. And what the woman says, the instructor says, is very, very profound. She's like, you're, you're always being watched. So it's just not about striking the pose and then striking the other pose, but it is the grace that 
get you from one pose into the next pose that 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 like that's where the art is and so here we have two poses we have two poses two posts the legs are firmly <clears throat> both legs are up two both legs are down and then this is what uh, this is what Dega does watch he connects them. This isn't about two ballerinas. This is about the grace that you go from one position into the next. That's brilliant. Now, consciously, he has to make it happen with two ballerinas. He has to put two figures there. But in reality, what he's created was a beautiful animation. Basically, each of these uh, ballerinas are just like keyframes in an animation. And then the design is the in-betweens. It's what our eye follows to go from one image to the next. And in doing that, all of a sudden, it moves. She lets go of that leg. Which leg am I talking about? Um, let me get my annotation tools here. She lets go. Oops. This leg here swings it across, and plants it here. Do you see that? Do you get that? And that's amazing. Oh, my goodness. Love it. So the eyes come in here. Let me put this on white here. You can see it a little bit better. From here, just beautiful grace. Now, what's neat is also, if you start looking down, let me go back to, um, if you look down here at this shadow, right, and you come up, you see how, like, perfectly curved that is? So he's, he's even uniting them down in here, okay? Like, this is what's happening here. Look at that beautiful little design. Boom. Boom. Well, that is the the God painting for today, and um, I want you to pay attention to these as you're looking at these dancers. Try not to get so caught up in oh, he painted these dancers, because in reality, he painted the dance. And let me go back to the original just so you can appreciate it. Look at that. You cannot not see it moving anymore, right? It's just, it's just animated. Ah, man, it's gorgeous. Look at these beautiful movements going up in here. Look at that rhythm. Oh, look at, he has these yellow str strips coming through here. There's a rhythm to it. And look how, how they all kind of just, and this this beautiful, graceful arabesque just mm, 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 mm. It's, it's just flowing. Even in the walls, he's captured the dance. Gorgeous, gorgeous, brilliant. Wow. All right, well, that is uh, the show for today, and uh, let me quickly. Give you a little quick announcement. Core 80, go to core80.com. We have uh, the, the, the new website up with uh, a lot more details on what it is that you're actually getting when you become part of the Core 80 uh, and become part and you get into this yearly membership. And so, uh, bottom line is the Core 80 is an 80 day composition retraining where we're going to help uh, artists who are struggling with composition. Uh, develop a, a, a confidence and a mastery over composition. So here is again Michelle. She's working through some of her value uh, designs. You can see up here uh, she's already thought through her story and her line techniques and she's already uh, placed them within the golden section grids. Now she was working on designing out the values to carry her story through and then she did some temperature, uh, uh, thought through the temperatures and executed her painting. And 
as part of the core 80, when you sign up for the yearly membership, you get your first month free of um, weekly meetups. So we meet every week in small groups uh, and we critique each other's work. And it's just a really, really great, great way of interacting with other intelligent people who are trying to make intelligent work. And, um, and it's just a good, fun, uh, family kind of atmosphere. But we're very, very serious about composition. So you're going to grow even if you don't want to. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and here's the greatest deal. It's only 20 bucks a week for the yearly membership and the weekly meetups. So, and also, depending on how you sign up, you'll get a really cool bonus t-shirt. So go to core80.com, take a look at all of the cool features and all the cool things that you get as, uh, as a member, and, uh, and your first month of your weekly meetups are free. So on that note, I shall say arrivederci and I'll see you tomorrow. We have another day God painting for you. Ciao.